Welcome to Taste Designs 107, I'm the S in the car pack, you're the kings and queens. Today what I for these guys is a Photoshop tutorial showing you how you can make your own Twitter header. This is going to be a 2D effect, the duration will be 20 minutes, the difficulty will be 3 out of 5 stars, and yeah, I just want to say something before the video does start. A lot of you guys said that, oh, um, don't act all hyperactive, you know, don't crack jokes and everything. This is not you, it's clearly seen as it's an act, you know, and typing off on the on the keyboard. No, guys, this is honestly myself. I'm always myself on camera. Let's be real here, like a lot of YouTubers say. But yeah, I was a bit like, I was like on Fruity Loop, so yeah, I did swear a little bit. So if swearing's not your forte, don't click on this video. But I didn't swear like every single sentence. I swear like probably every five minutes. So... Let's get straight into it. Awkward. Welcome to the desktop. This is where the magic happens. We're going to get straight into this tutorial by opening up Photoshop. And I've already recorded this tutorial like literally three quarters into it. And then I just realized that my sound wasn't recording. I'm pretty pissed at this moment. I just want to go to bed, watch some Arrow, some Flash, some Gotham, catch up on my TV series. But no, this shit happens. Don't worry. I love making videos. Fuck me. This is how far I went in this tutorial. I literally had to put on the text and I would have been done. <clears throat> okay, now I've got that out of my system. We're gonna be doing a Twitter header if you didn't already know. This isn't a hard tutorial, it's just... Whew, gets the best of me. Anyway, so we're going to make a new layer. For the size of this document, just go to File New, 3000 by 1000 pixels. And you're gonna get a rectangle. Not the same size like I have one here, but that's because I have a preview, so get along with it. And yeah, I'm going to have a little bit of sass in this tutorial that just adds up, so if you don't like me, like, I'm going to be acting like, I don't know, drunk or something. It's just like, it's my personality that you guys haven't seen before, and you have to put up with it. Okay, so we're going to go to render clouds and literally change the opacity on down this one to like... 21, go to filter, 19 plus 1, 21! Okay, sorry. See what I mean, guys? So we're gonna go like that. Just give me a sec. Yo, don't have to talk like you're, like, on meth or something, you know? Recording. Thanks. Outside, please. Oh my god, family members, get the Bethel for me. Make a new layer, and we're going to be using the Rectangular Marque tool, and I'm going to talk like, really loud because of, you know, people can't respect other things. And for the color, I'm going to be using C10000, press OK, and fill this one in with the bucket tool, press Ctrl D, make a new layer, and we're just going to be making shapes, so if you don't like that, it can go... There's there's a there's a fertility clinic down the road from here, so you can go there and sort yourself out. Okay, something like that. And bam. Okay. We're gonna fill this one in. Um press control T and drag that one out. Okay, and this is like actually centered into the document where it's supposed to be. But yeah, we get something like this now. We can go to File, clear guides, we're also going to hold alt while we just change the size of this a little bit. Okay, we're also going to make a new layer and do some of the shapes onto here. So fill it like onto that, actually. Okay. Make a new layer. Ugh, I'm just, I've had a really rough day. Um, like, I've lost my USB at school, like, literally lost four assignments, basically. Like, I backed it up, most of it, so I didn't, I've lost basically one hour's of work, which still pisses me off, because if I had to do one hour of work, or I could have got ahead of the class, you know what I mean? But, whew, it's been rough. So now once we've got all these layers, we're going to merge all of these together. I also went to the doctor, get my blood test results back from when I was sick. Oh gee, I don't have a virus, so 
my body can go fuck itself now. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Delete some of that. I've got a file new. Are you clear, guys? And we're gonna do some of the lighting effects because this one looks dope, mine looks shit. So we're gonna make a new layer. And bring up the brush tool for the size. I'm gonna make it 12 inch like my D. No, um, probably eight, 800 pixels the zero hardness and with the foreground color it's going to be the same but slightly darker so like 8 8 d 000 until you get red and i'm just going to simply control click this and start making clicks into here and if you don't like that there is i don't know there is like there's nothing for you there's nothing okay just do some clicks like this basically and you can also um, do some gradients, I guess. You know what, bro? Like, like a really slight gradient like that. Yeah. Okay, so now we've got some, like, I guess some little bit of lighting. We're also going to make a new layer. Bring up our brush tool and start painting with our white. So, yeah, make sure you shift click before you paint. So, you're just getting in there. And yes, it looks a bit strong, I know. Um, don't worry, we can change that with the opacity, but first just get our highlights in and and then you can worry about all the little things. So go to your opacity and then change this one down to like 23%, whatever floats your boat, I guess. My other one looked better. <laughs> can paint into it like this one. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make these middle squares. So, yeah. In my last tutorial, I absolutely flunked this step and I managed to pull it off. But yeah, just drag a ruler, like eyeball it into the middle of that. Yours should hopefully center into the, um, like legitimately um, click into the center of the document, but because mine's not in the middle, it won't and just make like a little rectangle around here so something like this and just fill this one in with white it's really simple bam and press ctrl j and move this one with your move tool here and yeah see i didn't get it like 100 percent but you know what it's just tutorial i'm just here to show you some techniques in photoshop we're all here to chill great time so go to your blending options on one of these and we're going to do a gradient overlay exactly and with the color we're going to do like this 8 a whatever darker darker color than the actual red there and it is going to be to a um just like a transparent basically press okay and we're going to use our reverse to make sure that it hits that area and also angle of 180 and go to your fill and change that to zero and yeah, so you right click it, do copy layer style and paste this one onto this one. If you right click, go to your blending options and also go to your gradient overlay, press reverse, should be okay. And should automatically transfer over the fill settings back to this one. And then if we go to view clear guides, we have that little um, thing. And I don't like this little light in the middle. So that has to go, so we're going to use our eraser tool. Okay, something like this is going on now. And the next thing that we're going to do is do all these little squares. So to do that, you're going to use your rectangle tool, do a stroke of red, whatever one you like, and a size of 1.5 pixels and no fill. And simply just drag out a square holding shift and then bam. Now I'm going to do these in the same locations. Press Control J and that's how you duplicate your text, your squares, I mean. Um, these don't have to be like different sizes or anything whatever you like I guess so whatever appeals to yourself is the main thing so if you like like my titties just just do that if you like my I'm gonna stop there <laughs> okay something like this okay yep Sounds like I'm constipated by saying that. Okay. 
Okay, yep. Okay, sweet. So I've got some of those rectangles in there. I can merge all these together. I'm going to press E for my erase tool. Do the size 800, hardness of 0. And I'm going to right click and do rasterize lay on this. And simply just click in some of the squares. And it's going to fade them in and out a little bit on some directions. Just give some a little bit of variety. You can leave some um, squares untouched. You can totally go over some like that. And it's just going to give them like a little bit of depth of field, you could say. Like where's the shadows and not. So yeah. And the next thing that we're going to do is go below our shape layer. So make a new layer below that one. Press P for your pen tool, but before we do that, press B for your brush tool. Do the size 1 pixel, hardness 100%. And then go back to your pen tool. I'm going to make a um, horizontal, uh, vertical 95 degree line. Hold and shift, and then right click, do stroke path with brush. Press delete. But make sure that your foreground color is that color red. So we're going to do C1000. Click and stroke path, press OK, delete that, press Ctrl J, and we just, you can rotate these, I guess. And yeah, you can get something like that, or you can just redo it with your brush, so I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> okay. And see, it doesn't matter that we go over the arm um, shapes because of it's below that shape layer so it's all G it's all G you know you know what I mean you know what I mean right click to stroke path press OK and we should have something like this going on stroke path press OK delete that I'm just going to do two lines on this one Notice that I did this on all one layer like an idiot. That's okay. Just whatever floats your boat. Okay, so we're also going to be using the eraser tool for these lines. Fading them in and out again. Just because of we can and Gabe and will allow us to. Go to your opacity and just change these down to something that you like, I guess. Something like that. And then the next thing to do is to make a new layer above all these layers that we have made. I'm going to be using the rectangle tool for this one and just literally use this fill like that, no stroke. Bring up a rectangle like that. And for these ones, we're going to right click and do blending options. Go to your gradient and chuck on a gradient. It's going to be using that darker color that we had before. So just do something like that. You can also delete this one. Just simply go like that, make a darker color to like this one. So transparent to dark. Like that, and you might change your opacity. Okay, sweet. You can right click and do rasterize layer. Press Ctrl J and move these ones up. And eyeball it like that. Right click. And you right click and do flip um, horizontally or vertically. Fuck man, why aren't you. Oh, you've got that um, gradient. Okay, right click and on this layer go rasterize layer style. So when you go flip, it's gonna flip the gradient, which we we're after. Okay, sweet. Yep, that's all we're going to do for this one. And then the next thing to do is to add in your text. So yeah, I'll show you how to add in your little text like this. Simply go down to the description below. There'll be a link for my store. You click on that link and then you'll be able to find an Icon GFX pack. I'm charging $1 for these. If you don't want it, you don't want it, but you get a lot of icons and it's taken me a long time to put this together. So it's either you want it or you want. You can find these logos anytime you want by yourself. It's just going to take you a long damn time and it's easier to buy the pack. Um, I 
just trying to find one YouTube. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Actually, I'll do Twitter because I found it. Okay, so just bring in your logo, your icon, I guess, your social media, and just put it into there. Press Control T, hold Shift and Alt, and resize this one out. So we have something like that. Maybe resize a little bit smaller. Okay, sweet. And then press T for your text tool. We're going to be painting it with white. And for the text, I'm going to be using you know, Bay Bass because I can. And I'm just going to do um, red. Unchained because of that's what it says on the preview. And move your text onto here. Now you can see that with the smaller text, it's not going to fit totally on this one, and that's fine. So what we're going to do first of all is just change the vertical because of this one's a little bit too big. I guess that's fine. And then I'm going to go to my VA spacing and do like 200 or something. Okay, let me enter it now. Holy shit, Photoshop. Pressing Control T to resize it, by the way. And if you didn't have this little character panel up here, just go to Window Character. There it is. Okay, and there we go. Just Control O, and it'll fit in like that. And then you can find your square shift click all those or control click all those and change your opacity or you can just change your opacity for these texts or whatever I guess what do you have? whatever you would like to call it you can also control click all these press control T hold alt and shift and resize them out something like that and do the appropriate things that you need to do so with this one this one out this one out and obviously the same so this one. there we go that's a bit more appropriate what don't you think and there you go now you can go ahead and fill in all the little different social media icons like the DR racer and everything like that and if you don't want to be using red it's really simple not to use it so all you have to do is go to all your top layers, add on a hue saturation, and change the color and bam, you've got like a blue, you've got green, and you've got, this is a quite nice one. Yeah, you've got everything like that, and you can change it, it's very editable. I'll leave a template in the description below so you guys can go download that. It's a really nice thing like this, and I'll have all the little words so you can change it. So thank you so much for watching the video. Sorry that I had a little bit of sass in this one. I'm just really tired. I want to watch some um, TV series episodes that I need to catch up on. And I've had a pretty long day. So I would appreciate it if you do support the channel by liking the video and also subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, guys, I'll see you next one. I've got some pretty exciting tutorials. This one was exciting. Like, I've actually made something really nice. So I've just not done it in the best attitude. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>